Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, respected Secretary, Information and Broadcasting, Shri Vimal Julkaji, respected Additional Secretary, Shri J.S. Mathur, renowned filmmaker, Shri Santosh Sivan, Chairman of the Jury Committee, Shri Anil Risal Singh, Director, Photo Division, Ms. Roli Verma, all the respected jury members, all the people here assembled from the media and guests. The fourth National Photography Awards function is an event to recognize and reward the best contemporary photographers and offer unparalleled opportunity to them at all stages of their careers. In 2010, during the Golden Jubilee year of the Photo Division, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting constituted the National Awards for Photography. In all the editions of these awards, we have seen stupendous participation and enormous talent in our midst. In the age of technology, almost everyone owns a camera, whether professional or on their phones. But only a few appreciate the art of photography, and even fewer feel the need to comprehend its science. And out of them, a selected few become skilled at capturing the perfect moment. The eminent photographers sitting here with us have mastered this art and science of, and science, uh, of using these lenses in a manner to perfectly capture the best moments, which will be their legacy and endowment for the future generations. It's my pleasure to announce that these awards will involve cash prizes of around 17 lakh rupees with the Lifetime Achievement Award winner receiving rupees 1 lakh and 50,000, while the best photographer of the year in the professional and amateur category getting rupees 1 lakh and rupees 75,000 each. The special mention award winners will receive prize money of rupees 15,000 each in professional, rupees 10,000 each in amateur category. Besides this, medals, plaques, citations will also be conferred on all the award winners. The jury committee for these awards is a team of renowned photo artists and eminent serving and former photojournalists who have proven their mettle and, and stand at the forefront in their respective fields. They have spent their priceless time in meticulous scrutinization of their nominees and bringing out the very best from the outstanding entries received from these awards. Today, the Lifetime Achievement Award will be bestowed upon a legendary photographer who has made extensive and excellent contributions in various fields of photography at both the national and international level, and whose photographic work has also contributed in reflecting the various dimensions and development of the society. He has not just made a mark for himself in the field of photography, but also set new benchmarks continuously in this remarkable field. For the Professional Photographer of the Year Award, the theme of Hamara Bharat Swach Bharat has been chosen to bring out the implicit character of India, which is not just pristine and hygienic, but also sparkling with diversity. And for amateur photographers, we choose the theme, the theme Mother and Child, which was selected keeping in mind the unique and beautiful bond that every mother has with her child, and to engage the talented professionals present among us in capturing the essence of this beauty and magnificence. Evaluating all the entries received in different categories from across the country has in itself been a truly enriching experience. I am elated and proud of the success of these awards. It is our earnest endeavor to ensure that these awards persuade many more, especially the youth, to take up photography as a profession and bring pride to themselves and to the nation. The winners in all categories shall be happy to know that the chosen photographs will be exhibited throughout the country and will also be displayed on official website of the photo division. This will further help in giving photography a stimulus for growth and momentum for development as more and more people will get motivation to enter the field after getting charmed by the incredible and marvelous works done by our awardees. It gives me an immense pleasure that the photo division under the aegis of Ministry of INB is one of the biggest production and documentation units of its kind in the country in the field of photography. From 1959, it was established to provide visual support to the varied activities of Government of India, and this division is responsible for visual documentation and preparing photographs both in black and white and color for internal as well as external publicity. It's often said that every good image is 
a history in itself. Through these photography awards, we hope to enthuse, instigate, inspire, and award creativity, fervor, ingenuity, and devotion to the field of photography, which would endow upon us the images which otherwise would have vanished with the passage of time. This would no doubt facilitate a richer record of history for our posterity. I heartily congratulate the winners of the awards and wish to thank all the participants for the sheer effort and the best for their future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for the welcome address. May I now request Secretary Shri Bimal Julka to release the brochure. May I also request other guests on the dais to kindly join him to release this brochure. Ladies and gentlemen, this brochure being released is the compendium of the artistic photography work of award winners of the fourth National Photography Awards, along with glimpses of photography by the distinguished jury members also. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury members have done a painstaking and outstanding work in screening all the entries and also selecting the best of the work, the award-winning photographs. We deeply recognize their contribution towards selection of best of the works. May I kindly request Director of Photo Division, Ms. Roli Mahindra Verma now to introduce the jury committee. Good afternoon, everybody. Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Shri Bimal Julkaji. Additional Secretary, Shri J.S. Mathurji. Chairman of the Jury for the National Photography Awards, Shri Anil Rasal Singh Ji. And our eminent guest, Shri Santosh Sivanji. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to introduce the Jury for the fourth National Photography Awards and welcome them to our midst. It's my honor and great privilege to first introduce Dr. Shiv Narayan Joshi. So if you please. <laughs> Dr. D Joshi is an ex-president Federation of Photography. He's an acclaimed photographer. He has been the jury member for more than 65 photographic salons with more than 900 acceptances of photos in national and international photography salons and has won about 200 awards and 10 gold medals in international salons. I welcome you, sir, and thank you for gracing the occasion with your kind presence. Our next jury member is Sri B. Jayachandran. He's a national picture editor and a well-known photographer with an illustrious career with Malayalam Manorama. He covered Kargil Wall in 1999 and Sydney Olympics in 2000 for Malayalam Manorama and has been conferred with many national and international awards. I welcome you, sir, and thanks for being with us. Our next jury member is a lady member, Ms. Ratika Ramasamy. An engineer by profession, she is unquestionably one of India's foremost wildlife photographers. She was selected as one of the top bird photographers in India by Birds of India in 2008. In 2009, Yuseli and Natura, an Italian magazine on birds, selected and featured her as the best photographer, bird photographer from Asia. I welcome you, ma'am, and thank you for gracing the occasion. Our next jury member, Sri Avinash Agarwal. It's a senior fellowship in photography. He specializes in product, industrial, interiors, and portraiture photography. He has organized many photography workshops, conducted several exhibitions, and has been conferred with numerous awards, honors, and fellowship. He also won the Photography Award in the National Photo Contest, organized by the Photo Division, Ministry of ANB. I heartily welcome you, sir, and thank you for your gracious presence. And now, last but not the least, our chairman of the jury, Sri Anil Rizal Singh Ji. Sri Anil Rasal Singhji is a world-renowned photographer who has been jury member for several national and international photography awards. He is the president of Federation of Indian Photography, the premier national body of photography in India, and editor Viewfinder, the official journal of Federation of India Photography. 
He's also the president of Lucknow Camera Club. He has also received over 250 awards and honor certificates in various national and international salons of photography. I heartily welcome you, sir, and thank you for being with us. I thank, once again thank all the jury members for being part of the fourth National Photography Awards and selecting such great pictures. We are all very proud of you. Thanks a lot very much. Thank you, Ms. Verma. And then now may I please request uh, the Secretary, Mr. Julka, to felicitate the jury members with a shawl and a memento. May I kindly request all our jury members to please come to the stage. Dr. Shivnarayan Joshi, Shri B. Jaya Chandran, Ms. Ratika Ramasamy, and Shri Avinash Agarwal. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause for all the jury members for the commendable work that they've done. Thank you. And now I would like to request the Chairman Jury Committee, Sri Anil Risal Singh, to put forth his views on this occasion. Namaskar. Respected Shri Bimal Julka, Secretary Minister of Information and Broadcasting, respected Sri J.S. Mathur, Additional Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Sri Mehir Kumar Singh, Joint Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Sushiri Roli Mahendra Verma, Director Photo Division, Sri Santosh Sivan, Noted Cinematographer, Sri Surendra R. Patelji, Lifetime Achievement Awardee, Friends, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to extend my heartiest congratulations to all the award winners of fourth National Photography Award, especially Sri Surendra R. Patelji, who is being selected for the Lifetime Achievement Award. Sri Patel has great contribution. <laughs> Sri Patel has great contribution in the field of photography, and he is a living legend of this field. I wish to thank Ministry of Information and Broadcasting for nominating me as the Chairman of the Selection Committee of four National Photography Awards. I wish to congratulate Ministry for constituting this prestigious National Award of Photography. Photography is regarded one of the most important inventions of the 19th century. It is said, and very rightly said, that photography is the most important invention on the earth after the writing. It is the greatest medium of communication. That is why it is said a good photograph is more than a thousand words. Photography has become an essential part of human life today. Today, every moment we live photography. In every sphere of the human life, photography is playing its very, very important role. And photographers always have great contribution in nations building and development. Today, we have photographs in our archives as the historical record. And we also have in our museums photographs as the work of art. It is great that thought had been given and need felt 
to constitute National Photography Award. I am being asked to give a brief report of the selection committee. As per the guidelines of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, the jury committee initiated the processing of the judging of the fourth National Photography Award for the following three categories, lifetime achievement, then professional category, and thirdly, the amateur category. On 25th February 2015, jury has considered total number of 15 noted photographers from various parts of our country for the selection of the Lifetime Achievement Award on the basis of nomination received by the jury committee members and the photo division. It was a Herculean and difficult task to select one out of these 15 names for this coveted and prestigious award. Jury had long discussions and considered several points for the selection of the Lifetime Achievement Award. Main consideration which had the upper hand always was how a particular person rendered his selfless services to promote the arts and science of photography in the country and for how long. After a long and elaborate discussions and considering the different arguments and suggestions, jury committee unanimously decided to recommend the name of Sri Surendra R. Patel from Gujarat for the coveted Lifetime Achievement Award. On 26th and 27th February 2015, the jury committee continued with the finalization of awards for other two categories, professional and amateur. Jury committee selected six awards in each category. I once again congratulate Sri Surendra R. Patel of Ahmedabad for receiving the Lifetime Achievement Award. Sri Sarup Dutt of Purilia and Sri R. Sasi Kumar of Chennai for winning the photographer of the year award of professional and the amateur category respectively and all the recipients of the special mention award in both the categories. Honorable Secretary of Ministry of Information and Broadcasting is here and I'll take this opportunity to make a request. Kindly, sir, kindly consider to increase the amount of the cash money for the Lifetime Achievement Award. Considering the magnitude and the prestige of this award, 1.5 lakh of rupees is a very small sum. This is also the recommendation of the every member of the jury committee. I hope our request will be considered. Thank you, thank you so very much. Thank you, sir, for your address. Ladies and gentlemen, we have amongst us on the dais Mr. Santosh Siwan, a name which needs no introduction. He's a renowned filmmaker we all know, a well-known cinematographer. And for Hindi film lovers, well, he, we know him as a filmmaker who gave us Roja and films like Dil Se and melodious songs like Chaiya Chaiya. I request Mr. Siwan to say a few words. Dear friends and uh, you know the dais, <clears throat> I was actually very, very uh, excited to uh, be a part of this uh, beautiful, uh, uh, beautiful gathering because I had the opportunity to also see some beautiful pictures downstairs along with uh, INB Ministry and people of play. It was uh, one of the, it's, it's something, something so encouraging to see that there's an initiative taken by the ministry to actually promote uh, the visual language and that too, it embraces all over Indian, India. So I think uh, this kind of uh, uh, <coughs> uh, programs actually makes us, uh, make, make us want to do more and more things. So I wish this continues and hope everything is even better the next time, just like uh, the more award money and things like that. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Well, now we come to the most awaited moment of the function. May I kindly request Secretary INB Shri Bimal Julka to present the fourth National Photography Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, the photo awards have been classified into three categories. The awards include the Lifetime Achievement Award, Photographer of the Year Award in Professional Category, and Photographer of the Year Award in Amateur Category. There are 10 special mention awards in the professional and amateur category. 
The theme for professional category this year was Hamara Bharat Swachh Bharat, while in the amateur category, the theme was Mother and Child. First, we begin with the special mention awards in the professional category, and our first awardee is Shri Jayesh Naveen Chandra Shah from Rajkot, Gujarat. <laughs> Jayesh Naveen Chandra Shah was born into a family of artists. His grandfather and father inspired and nourished his sense of art. He is a self-trained photographer and started photography as a professional by covering wedding events and functions in addition to nature. Jayesh Naveen Chandra Shah has a vast collection of photographs of candid shots of people, nature, flowers, landscapes, street photography and more. He's taken part in many photo competitions where his work was applauded by all. He believes nature provides us with thousands of memorable moments, provided one has a sense of photography and the judgment to click the right moment. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shijayesh Naveen Chandra Shah getting special mention award in the professional category. Our next awardee, Sri Atul Basant Khag from Mumbai, Maharashtra. Atul Vasant Ghag worked in BPL Pharmaceuticals and Jeshta Advertising as visualizer. He started with a solo exhibition in 1994 titled Chinch Pokli Ganesh Utsav and has held many solo exhibitions since then like Konkan Vebhav in Nehru Center, Moods of Raigarh Fort and Lalba Karaja at NCPA Art Gallery. He has won many national and international awards. In 2004 at the International Awards in China, his HPA documentary on Barn Ganga won the Photo Story Award. For Shri Atul Vasant Khag. Our next award is Shri Praveen Rawat from Indore, Madhya Pradesh. Praveen Rawat is a commercial photographer. He is a member of the Royal Photographic Society Britain, Federation of Indian Photography Kolkata and India International Photographic Council New Delhi. He's been recognized with 125 awards to date, including Lalit Kala Academy Award and gold medal at the International Photographic Salon of Japan. He has also been awarded by Royal Photographic Society Great Britain, especially for black and white photography. In addition to 350 acceptances in national and international photographic competitions. He's been presented in the Special Mentions Award in the professional category. Praveen Rawat receiving the Special Mention Award in the Professional Category. Our next awardee, Sri Arvind Kumar Jain from Haziabad, Uttar Pradesh. The flame to become a photojournalist ignited in the heart of Arvind Kumar Jain when he got a chance to cover the Kargil War in 1999 and it has been one of his milestone assignments. In 1993, he joined The Week magazine in New Delhi and at present, he is the chief photographer there. Arvind Kumar Jain has many awards to his name, including International Press Institute IPI Award, Ramnath Goenka Memorial Indian Press Photographers Award, WACC Award for Highly Commended Photographer of the Year, United Kingdom. He was also chosen Best Photographer of the Year by Sahitya Kala Parishad. Shirvind Kumar Chen getting the special mention award in the professional category. I would like to request our audience here to please be generous with your applause for our awardees. Our next awardee is Shri Umesh Nikam from Pune, Maharashtra. Born in 1989, Umesh Harish Chandra Nikam obtained his degree in geology from Ferguson College, Pune and turned into a commercial photographer with a focus on wedding and architectural photography. But his passion is travel photography. 
With a cannon strapped to his back, he started his journey through the panoramic expanses of India. His passion for travel photography has escalated and excelled with time. And the journey continues. A big round of applause for Shri Umesh Nikam from Pune, Maharashtra getting the award. Our next category of award is the Special Mention Award in the Amateur category and our first awardee is Sri Joydeep Mukherjee from Kolkata, West Bengal. Joydeep Mukherjee has always been interested in sports, trekking and travelling. But it was only in 2003, during a trek to the Annapurna base camp in Nepal, that he developed an interest in photography and his passion became an integral part of his life. He has some major achievements in photography to his credit, including many national and international gold medals and honours. The National Award, International Photo Contest Awards, Photo Contest by United Nations World Tourism Organization Award, International Colour Awards, United Nations Development Programme Award, Professional Photographer of the Year Award in the travel category are just some of his achievements. Joydeep Mukherjee believes one must have eyes like a shutter and a mind like a lens and a photographer must be technically competent to use various techniques to change a photograph from a mere snap to a snapshot of someone's life. Ladies and gentlemen, Sri Joydeep Mukherjee getting the special mention award in the amateur category. Our next awardee in this category is Sri Akhil Hardia from Indore, Madhya Pradesh. Akhil Haldia practices pictorial, nature, travel and commercial photography. He worked as a press photographer with Danik Bhaskar. He's a member of the Federation of Indian Photography, Kolkata, India International Photographic Council, Press Photographers Association, Indore. Akhil Haldia has 110 national and international awards to his name and 600 acceptances in national and international salons of photography. He has organized many solo and group shows of his works and has attended many workshops and conventions in addition to judging many national and international salons. Akhil Haldia is being presented with a special mention award in amateur category. Please welcome Sri Akhil Hardia from Indore, Madhya Pradesh. Our next awardee, Sri Nimai Chandra Ghosh from Kolkata, West Bengal. Nimai Chandra Ghosh is a science graduate from Calcutta University, but he has always had a huge interest in photography and pursued it passionately along with his job. In the process, he has achieved many milestones and won many accolades. His photographs have been published in many reputed international magazines like National Geographic, Nikon and Smithsonian magazine. And his work has been honoured by Sony, Autographer, Talent House, SNFC Singapore, ABB, VOA and BBC. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together to welcome Sri Nimai Chandra Ghosh from Kolkata, West Bengal, receiving the Special Mention Award in the Amateur category. Our next awardee in this category is Sri Mukesh J. Thakkar from Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Mukesh J. Thakkar is a retired civil engineer. He always had an interest in photography but got the opportunity to pursue it only after retirement when his son gifted him a camera. He learned the basics of photography and also joined a photography club and got the support, guidance, inspiration and opportunity to move ahead in the field. During his one-year journey in the field of photography, he earned honorable mention in the International Photographic Salon of Japan and earned a gold medal and merit certificate. He also earned the honorable mention in Alive magazine Delhi and he won first prize and award. Mukesh J. Thakkar is being given a special mention award in the amateur category. Shri Mukesh J. Thakkar receiving the special mention award in the amateur category. Our next awardee in this category is Ms. Tabina Anjum Qureshi from Jaipur, Rajasthan.
Tabina Anjum Qureshi is a senior sub editor with Rajasthan Patrika. She has covered various assignments and stories in areas of politics, human interest, art, and culture. She covered the Jammu and Kashmir floods and assembly elections from Srinagar, the literature festival for five years, Pravasi Bharatiya Divas, Z Cine Awards, and Star Screen Awards. She has also worked as a reporter and covered social affairs, hard news, youth and education related issues. With an immense interest in photojournalism and photography, she has staged many group photo exhibitions in several art academies. Tabina Anjum Qureshi twice received Best Photo Award at the Jaipur Art Festival in the professional category. Anjum Qureshi from Jaipur, Rajasthan, receiving the Special Mention Award in the Amateur category. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Photographer of the Year Award in Amateur category, and this award goes to Shri R. Sasi Kumar. The award carries cash prize of Rs. 75,000, a medal, and a citation. Please welcome Shri R. Sasi Kumar. He is shot across the southern part of India, travelling by road. He is shot across the southern part of India, travelling by road. Another passion. Shashi Kumar's ability to identify and interact with unique individuals, his way of seeing composition, colour and contrast, and his ability to tell a story through his pictures sets him apart. His expertise lies in his ability to capture not just a pretty picture, but also the soul behind it. Shashi Kumar's love of fine arts inspires him to catch and freeze the right moments. And you will see it time and again Ladies in and his gentlemen, pictures. we are Shashi Kumar, He's the amateur photographer amateur. of the year, a self-taught photographer. The Photographer of the Year Award in Professional Category goes to Sri Swaroop Datta. The award carries a cash prize of Rs. 1 lakh, a medal and a citation. Born in 1970 in Purulia, West Bengal, Swaroop Datta used to like painting in his childhood. The hobby later manifested in a passion for pictorial photography. He started his journey as a pictorial photo artist in 1990 under the able guidance of Sri Santosh Rajgarya, an eminent photo artist. Over 25 years of his career as a photographer, Swaroop Datta has been credited with numerous photography awards. He has tried to reveal the beauty of his native district Purulia through his two photographic albums, Paintings of Purulia and Parab, Festival of Rural Purulia. He is professionally associated with the film industry as a still photographer, working with internationally acclaimed film directors like Buddha Dev Das Gupta. But his heart is with pictorial photography. The focus of his interest is the common man, his daily life, his tradition, cultures, festivals and interpersonal. Swarup Datta is being presented with Professional Photographer of the Year Award. For Sri Swarup Datta, the photographer of the year in professional category. And now the most coveted award, the Lifetime Achievement Award. This award is being presented to Sri Surendra R. Patel, and the award carries a cash prize of rupees 1,50,000, a shawl, and a citation. Sri Surendra R. Patel served as a museum photographer at Sanskar Kendra Ahmedabad from 1964 to 1987. Presently, he is the president of Niharika Ahmedabad, the Gujarat Pictorialist Society, which recently celebrated its 75th anniversary. He has participated in many national and international exhibitions, salons and photography competitions since 1951. He has more than 200 awards to his credit. He has presented more than 100 slideshows on Kailash Mansarovar Yatra 1958 and pictorial photography in different parts of India. He has also exhibited his photographs in solo shows at Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Vadodara, Delhi, Navsari, Jamnagar, Surat, Jaipur and other cities. 
He has also organized a number of workshops, conferences and exhibitions in various cities of India. Surendra Patel has judged more than 100 national and international print and slide exhibitions and also photo contests in various cities of India. He has got photography honours from various organisations. He was honoured and felicitated by Ahmedabad Photographers Association, Photojournalist Society Jodhpur, Camera Club Karanwati Ahmedabad and Manav Pratishthan, Video Photographers Association of Gujarat. He was also honoured by then Chief Minister of Gujarat Narendra Modi. His awards include Gujarat State Lalit Kala Academy Gaurav Puruskar, IIPC International Award for Lifetime Achievements in Photography. He has been a major force in raising awareness about pictorial photography and mentoring new entrants to the world of pictorialism. He also served the photography community through his R. Patel, who is being honoured by a Lifetime Achievement Award. He has been a major force in raising awareness about pictorial photography. He has helped and inspired many youngsters by encouraging them in the world of photography. Sri Surendra R. Patel. Congratulations to all the awardees and warm thanks to our dignitaries on the dais for presenting the awards. Ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to request the Secretary Information and Broadcasting, Shri Bimal Julka, to kindly address the August gathering. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable Chairman of the Jury, Shri Rizal Singh Ji. Respected Santosh Sivanji, my respected colleagues from the Ministry of INB on the dais, I see my esteemed colleague, Mr. Law, uh, Malotra, the Law Secretary, who is present here. We are deeply honored, sir, that you have made it to this occasion. All our distinguished guests, our participants, respected awardees, ladies and gentlemen, First of all, let me apologize on behalf of uh, our Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Mr. Arun Jaitley. Because of his preoccupations in the parliament, he could not make it. In fact, till the last minute, we were still awaiting a confirmation, even if he could come for five or ten minutes, so that he could witness this function and give away the awards. But I think he got heavily preoccupied in the parliamentary affairs, so that's why he could not make it. But uh, he has indeed conveyed his best wishes to all the participants, all the awardees on this occasion. I can tell you that he has been personally monitoring the approach, methodology, and the design of this award function. And he has conveyed his best compliments to all the awardees. Honorable Minister of State for Information Broadcasting also got caught up with the same matter in the parliament and he has also conveyed his heartiest good wishes to all the participants. It's a matter of privilege and pride for the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting to welcome you all to this fourth National Photography Awards. These awards are meant to pay salutations to the greatest and the best from this profession. The Ministry of INB and the Photo Division are catalyst facilitators to create dynamic environment for all of you to draw the best from the creative skills. We are indeed the enablers and facilitators to this whole journey. You will be delighted to know that the Ministry of INB, along with the Photo Division, had organized a workshop on photography and videography only yesterday. And this was the first such occasion that we convened a workshop of this kind where a large number of participants from different ministries, organizations, agencies, both from government and outside, participated. It also had a very good participation from the manufacturers of various companies who displayed the best technology in this field. The workshop had eminent resource personalities like Shri Rajesh Bedi, 
Sri Santosh Sivan, who is also present amongst us, Mr. Anil Rasal Singh, who was there, and a technical aspect of the camera lenses, processes involved in picture capturing, and processes of images, editing, and finished products were all exhibited at this workshop. Participants in the one-day workshop of the, of the unanimous view that more such workshops workshop should be held in the regional centers across the country to highlight the new and emerging trends in the professional field of photography for upgrading the skills. I am happy to inform you that we have discussed this proposal with all our experts present here, and we propose to organize similar such workshops in the Northeast and JNK in the near future itself. The National Photo Awards assume special significance as this brings together the most talented and skillful men and women behind the lens and the screen in an assembly to display their artistic expression. As far as the awards are concerned, we have already stated the award money that has already been given to the awardees. The suggestions which have emanated from this jury and the committee and all the participants will definitely have them examined separately in-house and ensure that corrective measures are undertaken by the ministry in the near future. The jury committee for these awards is a team of renowned photos artists and eminent photogra photographers serving and former photo journalists who have proven their mettle and stand at the forefront in their respective fields. The Lifetime Achievement Award is be, has been bestowed on a legendary photographer who has made extensive and excellent contribution in the fields of photography at the national and international level. Mr. Suren Patelji, we are deeply honored and obliged that you could make it to this award function and our heartiest compliments to you. For the Professional Photographer of the Year, the theme of Hamara Bharat, Swach Bharat had been chosen and at the exhibition downstairs, we saw what a wonderful expression of Swach Bharat and Sundar Bharat had been exhibited by all the photographers. For amateur photographers, we chose the theme of mother and child, which was selected keeping in mind the unique and beautiful bond that every mother has with her child and to engage the talented professionals amongst us in capturing the essence of this beauty and magnificence. Once again, I state my heartiest congratulations to all the awardees and the participants and the distinguished gathering who have gathered here today. Thank you very much. Enjoy the evening. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir, for your kind words and assuring promises. And now I would like to request Director of Photo Division, Ms. Roli Mahindra Verma, to present the vote of thanks. Honorable Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Sri Bimal Julkaji. Additional Secretary, Sri J.S. Mathurji. Chairman of the Jury, Sri Anil Rasal Singh Ji. Sri Santosh Sivanji. Distinguished photographers, a senior colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear friends, it gives me immense pleasure to address you all on this momentous occasion of the fourth National Photography Awards function. Let me share a quote with you from one of the world's leading travel photographer, Mr. Peter Adams. He said, and I quote, photography is not about cameras or gadgets, but photography is about photographers, unquote. The art of getting a perfect picture which speaks a thousand words has been mastered by the distinguished photographers who are present here today. They have dedicated their lives in understanding the science, honing the art, and further developing this beautiful thing called photography. Continuously and tirelessly, and we must all be grateful to them for their entire endeavors. On this occasion, I extend a warm note of gratitude to Sri Arun Jaitli Ji, Honorable Minister for Finance, Corporate Affairs, and Information and Broadcasting, for his guidance all through. I express my heartfelt gratitude to Colonel Rajwardhan Rathor, Honorable Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting, for his continuous support. I thank our Secretary, Sri Bimal Julkaji, for his continuous support and meticulous planning and constant supervision, without which we could not have achieved the success that we have achieved today. 
I thank all the dignitaries on the dais for the continuous support. I thank and congratulate all the awardees of this year, especially the Lifetime Achievement Awardee, Shri Surendra Patel ji. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I thank all the jury members for their constant endeavor to get the best pictures for this award ceremony. Expe express my sincere appreciation and gratitude to the officials of Social Media Cell, officials of Payne Secretariat, DAVP, PIB, and all the officials of Photo Division, and members of the media, and all who have contributed to make this event a grand success. Thank you all very, very much. Yeah.